Are you thinking about investing in the Oxford real estate market? Well, sit tight because you're about to learn the top two mistakes that could cost you big time. When it comes to real estate investing in Oxford, the number one mistake I see new investors to this market make are miscalculating taxes. It's critical to understand that we have city and county taxes. Many new investors in this market miss the county taxes, so it leads to bad calculations. You must also make sure the property does not have a homestead exemption. If it does, you'll lose that and your taxes could go up by as much as 30%. Make sure you get this right because the taxes here kill a lot of good deals. The number two biggest mistake I see is bad rental rate data. You're going to be disappointed if you assume the max rate that people are talking about is the average rate. You can't base your long-term investment decisions on hearsay. Sometimes there are outliers that get higher rents because there are special circumstances that are not exposed on the front end. For example, an investor had a condo listed and in the remarks it said it was rented for $1,500 a month. But this condo was located in a development that us local managers could barely get $1,300 for. After doing a little digging, I found out that his daughter lived in one bedroom and she had two friends living in the other two rooms for $500 a month. Then I also found out that the property was furnished already and utilities were included in those amounts. This was a few years ago, so the rental rates are a little different now, but there are a few problems with his rental rate. The condos were older and the location wasn't the best, so students, which generally pay the highest rates, weren't interested in living there. Most likely, his daughter's friends wouldn't have chosen to live there if it wasn't their friend's personal condo. The second problem is that the condo was furnished. Furnished properties in Oxford don't really help a lot, but you have to give some value to it in this case. The third problem is it included utilities. With three roommates, you can plan on about $100 per roommate if you include TV and internet. The investor was really at $1,300 per month at best. If you were purchasing this condo based off his numbers, you would not be happy with your investment. You have to make sure that you get your data from a reliable source. If you have an agent, make sure you have them get you a name for a property manager that does this day in and day out. The Oxford rental market is very complex. We don't have a database of annual comps that sales agents can easily access like many areas in the country do. And the market here can be feast or famine. If you don't advertise your property at the right time, or you need to fill a vacancy in the off season, the rental rates could be several hundred dollars less per month. Make sure you don't make these mistakes. If you get these two things right and your numbers work out, you'll be starting off on the right foot for a great investment in Oxford.